Well it's day four, uh, seven of our Northern Tour 24 and the weather's turned decidedly more minging so we won't be going out in the boat today I doubt we'll have a little walk to the Pound Castle in uh, Killy where is it? where are we Killy? Killy, I don't know what do I want to kill him? that's it what some people want killing Alright, off we go. Little Stink's got a girly pink coat on. You think she quite likes that coat? But there we are, there's the Marigowan site. It's got a big site. Very good, I think. Very pleased. Well, it's a bit of a schlep from uh, or into Killing or where we're going. There's the river. Country house. Mm. Love the way the police car parks on the pavement, that's always there. And we've got these very historic old houses next to a dreadful primary school building. But where are they thinking? There's her indoors, a bit of sport and a very stylish cape. And this is apparently what we can't see. Well, I mean, it's something, but. I wouldn't get excited by it. Those action it is fairly spectacular. Those they would be called rapids. I don't think you could run them in a canoe, but I wouldn't. Oh no, that is uh, quite spectacular. Here apparently we have the Clam Mab Burial place, but unfortunately you can't get in. different, the different views you look at of it. New for the old mill that purports to be open, but isn't. Big stink by the mill and little stink. Different day to day on the uh, Lock Tay, absolute blowing, unbelievable. We've come to Kenmore, and I don't know if you can hear that, but I can hardly stand up against the wind. It is just staggering. Obviously, you have to trailer at the campsite. You just come here. This is incredible. I can hardly open the door of the van. So you wouldn't want to be out on Lock Tay today. In and out of Hon Wave, I can assure you. Donnie might, I would. Blowing an absolute Scottish hoon. So, it's some very historic cottages here. The old police house tells the story. The lovely village. And a rather lovely entrance to Taymor Castle. Taymouth Castle. Good correct there open doors. I don't know if you can enter or visit. Let's see what's round the corner. Kenmore Primary School. Oh, don't see a castle. Where is the castle? There is a new one. Well, I can't actually say there's a huge a lot here, up in a lot of wind. It's a 
nice little bit of a private uh, or public footpath. Sun's come out. This is the River Tay apparently. Very interesting bench here. I don't know if you can sit on it, whether it's a public bench or a private bench. Who knows? So we're back in the uh, van at Kenmore, having a little coffee and a ginger nut. And the wind is still blowing up the lock. A proper hooli. But do you think Poppy cares? Not a darn. Borgians, he says. The perked up and we were determined on this tri ha trip to have a barbecue. So I've, uh, I bought this some time ago, the Z80 outdoor fire pit, which does um, wood, charcoal, and all sorts. And uh, yeah, this is on charcoal, and um, I think they were 27 quid. They came with a tray to keep it off the thing. A little bag, a barbecue thing. Really quite good, I think. I was very kind and bought my friend Murray one for Christmas. What a lovely friend. First impressions of this fire pit is blinking impressive for 27 quid. A couple of firelights and look how it's got going. Brilliant. And barbecued on charcoal for a long while. On this barbecue, the little um, thing fits on that. It all folds up and goes in that flat bag, which is pretty impressive. If you're wondering what that is, that's a blow poke. It's got going incredibly well. Really, really pleased with this. Up in there, you can hear we've got a noisy crow or a rook. I think it's actually a rook. Come to see us. Swoop, swoop down on my uh, barbecue. It looks very like slow. Getting away there. Very slow. And I hope that'll be alright. But I can hear it starting to sizzle. Think of a good barbecue though, is slow. Oh, bit of a flame up, must be dripping fast. Well, I think like we port, little cheap barbecue fire pit, cooks really nicely. Very slowly, but nicely. Height and dimensions seem very good, and it all folds up into that tin and then goes in the bag. Yep, certainly recommend it. 27, 30 quid on that. Here we have our sumptuous meal, where we've got potato salad, meat cooked by me, garlic bread made from a, a breadstick and the wild garlic we picked, salad in there, and Poppy, you ain't ever none of it. <laughs> right, so in the world of what, words of wondering where, we'll just munch this up, and this is a good point to end the episode. Thanks for watching.